Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Dinayatullah from the Sai Mehta Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. So in this today's video, we are going to cover one short time saving results of the topic periodicity over here. Okay. So uh, in this first question actually, I will explain you what is the actual procedure for this question actually. Okay. Now after this, I have written some of the questions. For these questions, we have to write the direct answers. One shot TSRs we have to write. What we have to write? After solving this question over here, what is the one shot result? That result will apply for the similar type of questions over here. Understood? So now, what is our first question we are having? The period of f of x, it is equals to mod sin x is given. Okay? So whenever the function is mod sin x, we have to find out the period. So first, we will write the condition over here. What is the condition for this part actually? Okay? What is the condition? The condition is f of x, f of x it is equals to f of t plus x. Now what is the meaning of this part? f of x we have taken already, okay, mod sin x we are having, which is equals to f of t plus x. t plus x means what? t value, we can take any numbers over here. Whatever we can take the t value. Now, after taking the t value over here, if it is satisfying with this condition, if this value and this value are same, if f of uh, t plus x value and f of x value are same, then only what we are calling? We are calling it as a periodic function. Yes or no? What we are calling? We are calling it as a periodic function. Then after that, what is the t value we have taken? That t value will become the period of that function. Understood? So, f of x we have taken. Now, we have to find out the value of f of t plus x. After finding this value, if it is satisfying this condition, if it is equal to f of x, then this will be what a periodic function. Then what is the t value we have taken actually? That will be your period of the function. Okay? Now, let us take this part. So, f of x is equal to f of t plus x we are having over here. So, what is f of x actually? f of x, f of x it is equals to mod sin x we have taken. What we have taken? Mod sin x. Now we have to find f of f of t plus x value. Okay. f of t plus x, t plus x it is equals to mod of sin of t plus x we have taken sin of t plus x. Now, we can substitute the different different t values actually. Now, whenever we are using the trigonometric functions over here, what are the t values we can take actually? We can take it as pi by 2. Okay, we can take pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi, so on. Like this, uh, t values we can take over here. Suppose, if you are taking case 1 over here, what we are taking case 1 we have taken. In this case 1, if if t value it is equals to pi by 2 we have taken. What we have taken? T value it is equals to pi by 2. Now, let us substitute this part. So, f of pi by 2 plus x, it is equals to mod of sin we have written as it is. Then again in the place of t, what we have to write? Pi by 2 plus x. Okay, We have taken this part. In the place of t, we are writing pi by 2. Now, what is the meaning of pi by 2 actually? Pi by 2 means 90. So, if you are seeing this part carefully, sin 90 plus x, 90 plus theta. 90 plus theta means which quadrant? Second quadrant we are getting. Okay. So, 90 plus theta means second quadrant. In second quadrant, we are having the sine function. Okay. So, we are getting the positive answer over here. The answer will be in positive. But 90 means what we have to do? We have to change the function. Sine is getting converted into cos. Okay. So, we are getting the answer as mod of cos x we are getting. So, what we have taken actually? f of x it is equal to mod sin x we have taken and f of t plus x value what we are getting? Mod cos x we are getting. So, it is not satisfied actually. The condition is not satisfied. So, this will be wrong. This whatever the t value we have taken, this part will be wrong. Now, let us go with the second case over here. Second case. Now, what is second case means? Case number 2 we have taken. Now, case number 2 means if t value, if t value it is equals to pi we have taken. Pi by 2 we have completed. No? Then after pi by 2 we are taking pi over here. So, if you have taken pi actually, so what we can write over here f of what we are having f of t plus x f of t plus x is equal to mod of sin t plus x we are having. So, in the place of t we have to write it as pi plus x which is equals to mod of sin we have taken, then pi plus x we have taken. 
okay we have taken this part now what is the meaning of pi actually over here pi means 180 180 plus theta so again 180 plus theta means in which quadrant third quadrant in third quadrant which functions we are having tan and cot okay first second all silver t cups so in third quadrant what we are having tan and cot we are having sine function will be not there if sine function is not there means sir, we have tried the answer in minus actually so it is equals to mod we have taken so minus we have taken but 180 means what we have to do no need to change the function sign function will be sign only so we have taken minus sign x we have taken okay this part we have taken over here so if you are substituting if you are simplifying this part we are getting the answer as minus sin x but we are having the modulus function over here what is the meaning of modulus function suppose suppose if this modulus function was not there then again this case is not satisfying that condition we have to go for 3 pi by 2 2 pi like that we have to go for that cases but in this case as we are having the modulus function over here so what we can do the output will be always the positive value output will be always what a positive so this minus it is getting converted into plus so what is the final answer we are having over here mod sin x understood so with the help of that modulus function what we have done that minus that negative part it is getting converted into positive so therefore therefore what we are getting f of x it is equals to f of t plus x what is f of x value we are having actually f of x value is equal to mod sin x we have taken f of t plus x value it is equals to also what mod sin x we are getting the same answers over here if you are getting the same answers if you are getting the same answers then what we can say then what we can say actually what we can say so we can say that the condition is a satisfied understood so what we came to know whenever this condition is satisfied means uh, the it is a periodic function whenever it is a periodic function what is the period of this uh, function now the period will be t value what is the t value we are having pi okay so least positive value that also you have to remember over here pi we have taken now the condition is satisfied if you are going with 2 pi again 2 pi also with 2 pi also the condition will be satisfied okay with the 2 pi also the condition will be satisfied so what we have to take over here we have to take the least positive value so from pi and 2 pi what is the least positive value we are having pi so that's why period it is equals to pi we have taken okay so it is equals to pi the period of mod sin x it is equals to pi understood this point all of you now next one let us write it as so the period of what we are getting one short result what we are getting actually one short result one short result what we are getting over here the period of the period of all the modulus functions what we are having all the modulus functions means what mod sin x mod cos x then mod tan x then similarly mod cot x next part what we are having mod secant x then mod cosecant x okay for all the modulus functions the period will be equals to the period will be equals to what pi itself okay no need to take the all the other values t values equals to pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 2 pi no need to substitute all that part whenever we are having the modulus functions over here what we have tried the direct answer one short result we have tried what is the one short result of pi that's it okay now let us solve the remaining questions with this one short over here so our first question is the period of mod sin x it is equal so just now we have done this question what we are getting the answer it is equals to pi now the second question the period of mod cos x it is also equals to what uh, pi mod tan x it is equals to pi mod tan uh, cot x it is also equals to what uh, pi then similarly mod secant x equals to what uh, pi mod cosecant x equals to what uh, pi 
for all these modulus functions what we got we got the answer as pi one shot single shot answers we are having over here so first question we have done now whenever we are getting what we have written over here one shot whenever we are having the uh, all the modulus functions we have tried the answer as a pi that's it okay for all these modulus functions we have written the answer as pi so if you want uh, this one shot results time saving results uh, and the shortcuts for this topics actually what you have to do you have to join into sai meda coaching center koti hyderabad because time management will be playing a very important role in the case of examinations if you know this shortcuts if you know this uh, one shot results actually you can solve the questions within a seconds in the case of examination understood now as you know we have secured eight state first rankers in the ts ese 2021 in 2021 also we have secured eight state first rankers and in this year also in the year 2022 eight state first rankers we have secured okay six state ranks six state first ranks in the telangana ese examination and two state first ranks in the ap all together what we are having eight state first ranks in the ts ese 2021 and eight state first ranks in the ese 2021 2022 also okay so don't waste your time the new batch is going to start on the 5th of december 2022 so hurry up for more details contact on the given numbers thank you very much